for the record, the project's called uh, Red Army Eve of 5029, Phoenix the Last Age of Man. Sci-Fi 9. <clears throat> now all grouped together to be called Eve of 29. Commenced writing 2004. This document here created 2009 approximately. This material is what was written in 2004. This material was originally written as a separate vision um, and this part came to me from listening to a song um, by uh, NVO called Touched by the Sun as you can see the characters now the same characters are continued through all three of the separately written stories. Um, for the record, these are all of the copyrights. This is all of the images. This is all the, all the artwork. All the artwork. The storyboards. I invented this. Uh, System here, see Brad Car 2000. I invented this uh, storyboard, but that's 4 by 3 so then I made a new one. And as you can see, the new one is again, oh, it's so tiny. It says Brad Car, Brad Car Productions, copyright. Oh, and it says Motion Music LLC, which I dissolved with a signature. Um, Anyway, those were the things I authorized to use the new format of storyboard, which is wider screen. You still have all the details where you can write in everything here. Which, the reason I'm recording this is so no one else can take away my right to use my own method that I made. That, that won't fly. I don't play that. Uh... This is okay. Same video, still rolling. Still rolling. This I made to house the script for the science fiction I was working on when I moved to LA. Wow. And for a short period of time, I decided, okay, I'll work on a different project temporarily. And there was a brief period where I did was going to use this book to sell it, to pitch it. But that project has been shelved, and I resumed working on this, which is what I originally started in 2004. I made all of this. This is the top of the eagle for the staff. There's my Native American staff underneath the bunk. Um, I made this whole thing. At one point, there was another artist. A very dangerous person that covered it in some sort of artwork, which I scraped off, and this is the way it originally looked. It was literally did not look at all like it anymore. It was every square inch was covered in some sort of a encrypted curse. So I, I scraped all of it off. There are barely residuals of it. Some here in the where I couldn't get it into there with a scrubber maybe. Um, but that's why this ripped. You can see inside the corrugated cardboard. This is cardboard here. That's why this is ripped. Pulling off their <clears throat> shenanigans. There, there's a piece of it there. Right there. That's a piece of this 
different kind of material, some kind of a paint that they, there's some of it there. Right there, you'll see a pattern when you look on this thing in real life. But there's a, there is a, a deal. Now, now this, this is the big juju. This is the big holy bean here. Uh, praise the Lord. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, God bless America. Hey. This is the Hero's Journey. From my book. Hero's Journey. And this is the tamale here. I, uh,. I've been studying storytelling for some time, and the apex of this whole video is to discuss this guy. It's painted on gold on the back of my American Film Market poster. Whenever guests came over, after I uninvited my guests at the time that were I mentioned this project where temporarily I used this book. Well, after I kicked the people out of my life that temporarily inhabited this, no longer have in my life, um, I gave that individual, he was very good in Photoshop, I gave that individual a list of three different ways to present the story. Linear, three act. Circular, which is the hero's journey, three act. And also the golden ratio spiral version of the three act structure, one, two, and three. Uh, three act structure. So there's three different versions of how you present it. Now, when I emailed to this person, what I, what I, what I, what I went on, what I did is I went online and I collected all these images of different uh, versions of how to present a story like this but they're three different like there was there's linear there's you know there's there's also the curve it goes up like this right you know the, the standard whoosh, whoonk, right everybody knows that one so there's this list of all all, all these that I, I I compiled pictures from the internet and put on a thumb drive which is missing like while this individual these individuals lived in my home that thumb drive went missing and when I put those pictures on my thumb drive and I said here to this individual put these together he didn't understand what it meant or didn't have time, so he just went ahead and emailed them all to me as a group and copyrighted my name, thankfully, which I appreciate. That's very awesome of him. Now he bears witness that I made this, but also his name. And this purpose of this video is to indicate that this was the true uh, intention. Uh, so when you look at this and say, well, the first known piece of evidence is that email trail between the two of you, I want you all to know, and that's why I'm making this video, when I have all of these elements here together, which is all three acts, this is a different thing with tabs, it's three acts, with the post-it notes, which each, with all the different scenes that happen in the 100-page screenplay. 100 page screenplay 100 page screenplay um, uh, so so we have all of this copyright backup information all of these pictures I've been assembling all of my storyboards I have a great deal of uh, I have a great deal of um, drawn drawn storyboards uh, yes yeah, so there it is the proof. 
may mankind be united against evil in love. Maybe mankind be united in love with the Lord. Jesus Christ, forgive us all of our sins. And may be unto the kingdom of heaven.